Hello, I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Rees, where we make beautiful rees and teach you how to make and sell them. In this video, I wanna introduce you to a subscription box that I've been using for over a year now. Every month, I receive craft supplies for making, creating beautiful wreaths. It is from the Deco Exchange team. And if you go to decoexchangecraftbox.com, decoexchangecraftbox.com, you can learn more information. But let me show you what I received in this box for the month of January. So every month the box is full of crafting or wreath making materials, but sometimes they put tools, um, for example, this was one of the um, items that they put in one time. This just punches holes into those metal signs. So I've been using this a lot. I love this one. Um, so they give you tools, but they also give you ribbon and signs and wreath bases and florals and just really anything you can think of in order to start building up your stash of craft supplies for wreath making. So this is the month of January. And let me show you what we have this month. We have um, this really pretty lavender. So it is a little bit um, on that blue green side of the greenery so not deep green but a blue green and they also put in this beautiful frosted eucalyptus so you can see that both of these coordinate really well together with the shading of the green I just love that so that's pretty um, let me let's see what else we have I was trying to figure out a better way to do this we've got four rolls of ribbon so both of these are two and a half inch all of it is wired it is quality ribbon these are ribbons that you can put outside in your wreaths and you don't have to worry about you know the rain messing them up or anything like that so they're very um, good for outdoor making so here we have two two and a half inch and then two one and a half inch and you can see that all of these also coordinate really well together so i like that <clears throat> And then they give us, a, this is a deco mesh wreath frame. If you don't know what this is, this is a great um, frame for you to just attach deco mesh. So deco mesh comes in rolls like this. Um, and here's one actually, I've got one month, I got both of these in a box. So they um, gave me both of those, but this is deco mesh. It comes about 10 inches. You can unroll it and attach it to your wreath frame and start creating your wreath from there. All right, so there is a 24 inch work wreath frame. And then there are um, signs here on the bottom. So here is a beautiful sign. I guess this is about eight inches in length. 10 inches. This is a 10 inch square. So let me show you this. How pretty is this? Isn't that beautiful? So you've got a really pretty sign that coordinates with your wreath, right? We've got some black in our sign, black on our wreath, and then we can add our ribbon that they gave us. This one, this one, right? All of these are so pretty. Um, and match really well together. And this one, I'm running out of hands. Do you, isn't that beautiful? It's just a really pretty um, sign and combination, taking a lot of the guesswork out of it for us. And then you could just add those really pretty um, lavender flowers and eucalyptus to make a beautiful deco mesh wreath. Probably would use the 10 inch lavender on the bottom, but you could do it with a, um, a really pale green or you could also use a, um, a taupe or a burlap color would be pretty too, or even the moss green would be so pretty. All right, so there's one sign, but wait, there's more. Let's see if I can, let's just keep that out. All right, they've got that sign, and also here is another sign. So this is an, another 10 inch MDF. So it's a welcome. This would be really pretty. I think this one would be pretty for spring. This one over here, right? Pretty for spring. But then I'm liking this one for a Mother's Day wreath. And it also pairs really, really pretty with this ribbon and this, and maybe I would put a pink mesh on the base. And then there's another sign right here. Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes. So this is one of their um, signs that they make in-house. So you can see how cute that is. And this is where uh, one of these tools will come into play for me because I will need to make a hole in order to attach it. But I love this sign. 
beautiful. So a lot of uh, supplies this month. So let's talk about the pricing. Typically, if you were to go buy all of these pieces individually, they would be over $90 combined. Um, and then you would have to pay for shipping because you're not gonna go to one store and be able to find everything just like this at one store. You'll have to go to multiple online boutiques in order to get something similar. And they would all um, add up to over $90. But if you subscribe to this box, this um, the, the Deco Exchange craft box, you um, get all of these and it's a $60 price range. So that includes shipping. So it's $60, you get all of these uh, materials together in one subscription box and it keeps coming month after month. So you're able to start really effectively building up your inventory of wreath making supplies to get you off to a good foot. And I like that they color coordinate to get you started. So I could use this sign with this or I could use this sign with this or I could use this sign with this and the greenery and um, florals just go with everything so remember it's decoexchangecraftbox.com thanks for joining me I hope you found this useful I love sharing tips like this with you um, it's just a great way to start building up your inventory of crafts whether you want to make for your own home give as gifts or even start a wreath business like I have remember it's decoexchangecraftbox.com and tell them Julie sent you